Welcome back to the studio. If you're new, I'm Slu. We're in the studio, but we're not painting today. We're building. Oh my gosh, I love to build things. And we're building a shop cart today. So I'm replacing, it's a shop cart to replace my palette. So it's gonna be half shop cart. I'll be able to take the nice piece of glass, which I paint on, off, and then it'll just be a super sturdy cart. So it's gonna live probably mostly in the painting area. It's just gonna be wonderful. So let me just lay down what we're doing. We have wood. We're gonna build it out of wood, okay? I'm only gonna be using a drill and a saw, okay? I love building, I've built a lot of stuff, but I'm not some pro woodworker. You know, I love, I can't express how much I love woodworking. I watch all of the videos on YouTube, but my favorites are like Bobby Duke, who's also in the big collaboration video with 100, the painting, he built the frame. Frank Haworth, Samurai Carpenter, the list goes on. I love it, I can't get enough. But I don't have the crazy tools they have. I don't have a joiner, I don't have a planer. So one of the big issues with building furniture, I guess you could say, is you want everything to be fair. When you buy wood, this is the wood I bought down here, um, and it's pretty expensive. I can't control myself when I go to Home Depot. It was about $200, maybe $75 with some new tools. Every time I go to Home Depot, I pick up some new tools. This piece of oak is straight and fair and plain and perfect, okay? So that helps you get 90 degree angles, screwing things in, it looks nice. When you when you buy um, just two by fours, it's, it's not super square, it's not super um, plain, it's kind of clunky. I mean, it's still great and works, but that's something I'm gonna have to deal with. I have so much scrap that I just organized. From the seven months of collecting wood, I'm pretty happy with my scrap pile. There's a bunch of useful things. If I can't build a shop cart with all this junk, I don't know what I should do. It was crazy, actually. I just filmed a squall happening. I got this wood yesterday, and as I'm filming, it was sunny and normal, and then all of a sudden, it just is a white wall of snow and wind. I felt like I should send it into National Geographic. Crazy. Oh my God. So that's a mega rant. And the really only thing I'm keeping is the wonderful piece of glass. So that's kind of like the pivotal part. That's what you paint on. Anything that holds that glass, I can paint on. I'm just happening. I just so happen to be making a super sturdy beast of a desk. All right, let's just begin. So if you've been watching the channel for the past like year, you've known that I've used this and I, I do like it. And I upgraded from a smaller piece of glass to this massive one and it's wonderful. It just doesn't roll well. It's like clunky. Anyways, what I really like about it is the height. Um, it's like perfect height, 32 inches. So what I mean by that, standing, you know, it's right like this. It's great for mixing. I'm pretty much standing straight. My, my, my elbow is perfectly straight. When I go like this, I really like that. And then when I sit, you know, it's, it's a good height. My elbow is almost perfectly bent. And I know that these are small things, but weirdly it helps for long sessions. That's kind of the only thing. I think it's gonna be, you know, a little wider than this piece of glass, which is about 30 by 24. Um, I just want it to be sturdy because I'm going to add some few cool things at the end also, like a monitor that will be attached for reference for really big paintings and then other, other craziness. Making these cuts are kind of scary because I don't have any more of these pieces of wood and there's not like wood shops close in Brooklyn. It would be like a whole ordeal. So hopefully I could just be precise. Mmm, smells so good, all this sawdust. There we go. They are all the same length, give or take a couple millimeters. But these are like the legs, so to speak. And instead of like using, say this, for just the, the spoke, like the leg of the table, I'm gonna be using in a corner action. So I'm gonna glue and screw them up like this. And then I'm basically gonna make two, you know, boxes and then they're gonna slide into those cracks. Does that even make sense? I don't think so. But this is what I'm gonna do and I think it will be great.
just finished one of the test pieces of one of the legs. So I countersink some holes so that the screws would go in nice to not splice the wood. Um, and it's also glued up. So this will be really strong. It's also going to be screwed in here and here, connected to those two boxes. So this is good. I'm going to do the next three in sort of an assembly line because I've tested the system and it works wonderful. These are the four legs and I just put these kind of butts where the casters will be. I have these latches where um, these are going to go across but also a piece of plywood. So it's going to be like the bottom shelf right above the casters which will actually give it kind of a this stability, and then we'll do one more on top. The same idea as a box on top. Very nice, very perfect. Okay, happy with that. This oak smells weird when you cut it. I've never actually used really nice hardwood before. I mean, this wood is like three times as dense as this pine or Douglas fir. It's like crazy. Like it's heavy. It feels like metal. happy with this. Absolutely solid. Really heavy, which is good because we want the base to be heavy, right? We want the center of mass lower because if it's higher, then it's going to put stress on these legs. So it's going to be weighted down. Now you can kind of see the actual skeleton of the cart coming together. Maybe it was unclear towards the beginning. Boom. I'm basically going to do the same thing on the top. Just reverse the box so it's just perfectly flat. Wow, these new clamps rock though. This is solid. This is the same setup for the box as the other box, except I'm just using a little longer and thinner boards because it's going to be at the top. It's going to be reversed. That probably doesn't make any sense until you see it, but this is what we're doing. That's ready. Okay, so let's do this side first. There's gonna be screws and other things also, obviously. This is just kind of for the, uh, just, just for the glue up. Okay, this isn't that bad. This is like a very tricky stage. And I don't even know how strong the glue is gonna be after this. The legs are gonna go on the outside here, okay? So nothing's gonna be in here. So to reinforce these thin walls, I might put some of these in the corners and stuff. We'll see once this glue kind of settles. This is how it should be, but we're gonna see if this fits. This is kind of the moment of truth. It should be able to wiggle a little. Eh. Oh, easier than I thought. Um, so my tolerances aren't perfect, but you know, a millimeter or two on each side, the wood will just suck up. So suck like into itself without cracking. So like right here, it's kind of hard to see it's gonna suck in, but that's, that's pretty darn good. More countersinking and more drilling and glue.
Wow. That's looking solid. Still got a lot to do, honestly, but I mean, talk about a skeleton, a sturdy one. Um, I have so much to sand, but this little shelf looks so nice. It's just so sturdy. Um, but I actually have to get more wood and it's 11 o'clock, so I'm gonna go home. All right, it's the next day. This is looking good. I got some more plywood because we're gonna finish sort of the top, but something that I need to do now, which is not gonna be fun, is take this off. It's hardly welded right here with some JBL or whatever epoxy, so yeah. So that just comes off and the paint I had just came off. Um, and I'm gonna use this to measure exactly how big I want kind of the top because I'm kind of gonna lay wood, nice wood around this so it will be slotted in perfectly. Again, you won't really know what I mean. There's these little knobs from the original desk and I'm just gonna heat, heat it up with this heat gun because I think it's just epoxied on there so hopefully this will work. Smells bad. Oh, so easy. All right. Woo. Be solid. Okay, so I need to use my brain here, like always, everyone, because again, I'm working with limited wood, so I don't want to mess this up. So, uh, so my plan is for this to be removable on the desk so that that could just be a normal cart for anything else, but I want to kind of frame wood around this so when I do use it, it's like meant for this, if that makes sense. So this is one and a half by one and a half pine, already planed and straight and beautiful. Sexy. Um, and so this is gonna go around like this. Okay, so that's how much I want. One exactly this length. Okay, so that's not bad. And I definitely have enough wood for it. So we're gonna do... So that works. So this is what I sort of meant as in like, it's gonna be framed in here. So it kind of just looks nice. Uh, I'm pretty good here. I think I could shave or sand a little off of this. So pretty pleased with that. Hell yeah, okay. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of different inspiring classes for people who wanna learn, explore their creativity, obtain new skills, and build and invest within their personal and professional growth. You know, if you have a specific skill you're trying to learn, Skillshare is the perfect place to start. From photography, illustration, graphic design, freelance, and so much more, you can really find the class to match your goals and skill level. I personally have used Skillshare for years in the past, learning video editing, different fine art disciplines. A great class that I love right now is Character Illustration by Gabriel Piccolo. Really wonderful class taking you through different faces, features, and coloring techniques of sort of generic, cartoony looking characters. Skillshare has the best user interface. Their website is of the highest quality. You know, the discussion board, the assignments in each class, it's all so amazing and it's just a place really curated to learn. So the first 1,000 people who click the link in the video description, you will get one free month of Skillshare. It's an amazing offer. Skillshare is the best. So one thing I could do while this dries up, which would only be like 20 more minutes, is take this plastic wood filler and fill all the holes in uh, the main frame because there's a lot of screws um, that are countersinked and you could leave them, but I'm trying to be sexy. And it's not that much work, but it's gonna look really nice when it's done, sanded, stained. I got some secret um, little accessories that I'm gonna add. So uh, I'm gonna do this and it will be dry, hopefully by tomorrow when I can sand and stain. All right, so just sanded a lot so that these, this and this 
panel is flush because that's gonna be shown. Um, and I thought it'd be really cool to make these sharp edges on the outside curved. So this would be curved, this would be curved, this would be curved, and then it would be nice and straight, like a square on the inside for where you paint. But I think that would be cool. So I'm basically just take this orbital sander and just cut this corner as much as I can, round it out, similar to these legs. I don't think you can see, but it works pretty good. Um, and I think it'll be really nice. And this is just a hundred grit on here. Could probably use more, but. So first pass, pretty sexy. Okay, so now I can attach this piece right here. Okay. So that's pretty much what it's gonna look like. It's gonna be higher because of the wheels. It's gonna be stained also some more doohickeys that I haven't told you about. So I also have this piece of wood that I just cut, which is the exact same size as my piece of glass because I wanted it to just be raised a little more. So I'll glue that in. I, whoa. And then boom. Oh, just a sexy like half inch um, border, you know, between the glass and this, um, really beautiful. And then when I don't want to use it, I have this lip. Oh, I got to cut that. Oh, that's heavy. Can I lift this up myself onto there? Yes, I can. Ugh. <sighs> Whoa, that's heavy. Yeah. I'm going to put this piece of glass on it to help the glue sit, cause that's really heavy. And then also for good measure, put this on top. That's gotta be like 40 pounds. Okay, so. Now, a wonderful part. I get to try to put these casters on. Okay. These are some weird screws. Oh yeah. Oh, that is so tight. That is tight. These are heavy duty sheet metal screws, I think. Okay, that's going nowhere fast. I think this thing's like 200 pounds or something. Maybe not, could I not lift 200 pounds up that desk? It's certainly a lot though. Holy macaroni, look at that. Look at that. Oh, so nice and smooth. Honestly, sturdy as an ox. Look at that. I guess you can't see me, but uh, it's not going anywhere. All right, so I stained it and then I also polyurethane just this top section so it's a little more wa waterproof, a little more um, durable. And it looks pretty weird, looks better just than the white virgin wood, but you know, you could see like glue spots around it and it's blotchy and it's not like super perfect, but I love that. It kind of looks weathered. It was almost like a patina 
rather than a stain. But you're asking, what is this for? This knob. And it's for a computer monitor stand. We got a computer monitor stand, okay? That's what this thick, absolute knob is for. So we're gonna attach this, one more thing, and then this baby will be complete. Okay, boom. So this is like an old, cheap gaming monitor. So it's just for literally putting pictures to look at while I paint. Um, and so this monitor is nothing special other than it absolutely does the job. Let's see if I could do this by myself one-handed. Mm. Okay, that's, that's four. Wow. There's one more little thing, and that is this. This is a paper towel holder. So I'm gonna drill it in right here. Well, I actually didn't record that, but this is just the paper towel holder that I s screwed in. We got some new shop towels, which are super absorbent and wonderful. And wow, wow, final reveal. And look at how wonderful this is. So this is pretty much it, guys, the final frontier. The most ultimate bar cart, you know, palette, painting, portable palette ever. I've been dreaming about this for a while. You know, the other bar cart I had was fine, but you know, again, any excuse to build something, I'm gonna take it. It's way more functional, way more solid, exactly what I need. You know, we got this removable glass. I have, I made, you know, this overhang about an inch and a half so I can easily just grab and lift this up, fits perfectly. But it's just great, it's insanely sturdy, like I can't iterate that enough. It's pretty over-engineered in terms of amount of wood and screws and the weight of it. You know, it's super heavy, but it's like, that's the idea to make something that will last. This will hopefully be in use for the next 20 years or like some sort of family heirloom. You know, this weird trim is just hilarious. It makes me so happy. It looks like something out of like a captain's, a pirate's captain's quarters on a ship, like some, weird desk, all the patina. It's gonna get nice and dirty. It's gonna be used a lot. Um, I'm super happy. It's probably the most awesome thing I've built out of wood. Again, hopefully that will last decades and decades. And so, boom, I'm here. I got my reference if I wanna paint some elves. I got my Tiger Belly podcast over here. Anything that I wanna listen to. I got the painting palette, easily move back and forth. I got some paper towels and it's just all wonderful and happy. I could have like made some gimmicky like paintbrush holders, but that's like too much. All you really need is a flat, solid surface. We got storage under there. Everything else is all good. So that's it. I'm so amped. Chai latte for a reward. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do my next biggest painting, my pretty much biggest painting project. I've already kind of started. It's gonna be here. We're gonna use this. We'll see how it goes. Oh man, this makes me so happy. See you in the next video.